Good. Is that starting? Yes. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so this is question seven, page 386, year eight scale drawing. We're going to be looking at an angle of depression. It says, from an aircraft flying at a height of 300 meters. So we need to start doing a little sketch. So here's our aircraft, I'll label it A, and it's flying at a height of 300 meters. So that's 300 meters above the ground. There it is. And the angle of depression of the end of the runway. So we can look at the runway. So let's say angle of depression is to do with how far down it is of the end of the runway. So here is my runway. And that's the end of the runway, okay? So maybe I'll just put a little cross here. That's the end of the runway. Uh, is 18 degrees. That's not bad. So angle of depression, D equals 18 little degree sign, using a scale of one centimeter to 100 meters. Okay, so we want to find out the horizontal distance of the aircraft from the runway. We want to find this distance here. That is our question. So my sketch, I think, is pretty much complete. We need to have a sketch for every question. First thing we need to do is let's draw in some lines. I'm going to draw in this time, I'm going to draw the runway first. Here we go, that's my runway. I don't know about the angles yet, but I know that aircraft might be about here, and I'm going to put my protractor down on that mark, line it up, and I'm going to make a vertical line here, there, 90 degrees, perfect. Use my ruler, and I'm going to have a nice right angle there. Good. Mark my right angle with a little, and I've measured that. So 300 meters is how many centimeters? I think that's three centimeters. That's the correct ratio. Okay, so I need three centimeters. I measure with my ruler three, from three up to here, that's three centimeters, and I've marked that there. Okay, now, the angle of depression. Sometimes it's easier to measure on your diagram an angle of depression, but, ang but this angle here. So if that's 18 for the depression there, this angle over here is going to be 90 minus 18 which is going to be 72 degrees. And those two add up to a 90 degrees. So I'm going to measure, actually, I'm going to measure 72 degrees here. Okay. Uh, so I start at the zero. I'm using the inside scale. And I go around 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 70, 71, 72. Difficult to read. Must be accurate. There it is. 72 degrees. Okay, so take my pencil, put it on the mark, and join it up with the aircraft. There's my aircraft, 72 degrees, and that is where I think it's ended up. I need to mark in the angle that I've just measured, that's 72 degrees. I'm going to put in something here to show the angle of depression because I think it will look complete that way so I'll just pop a little 90 here and I'll just pop a little line across and there it is and just check that angle of depression is in place because that's what they asked for that there D equals 18 degrees this here should also be 18 degrees that's the elevation okay now I'm gonna put that ruler there and measure and I'm getting a measurement of 9.2. 9.2 centimeters. Okay. So that is from here to there. Let's join that in. Let me draw in a little line there. So that's from there all the way to there. From that line to that line there. Okay, so 9.2 centimeters. Now from my scale, that's actually an easy scale to use because that must mean it's 920 meters. And that is the answer to the question. Has it asked for anything else? No, 
Thank you very much.